All of the EZs along the Z direction can also be updated using regular updates. So we can write 4 k equal 1 to k max minus 1 here around the EZ updates and then another end at the end. Lastly, for the HY and EZ updates, we need to add a second dimension to the HY and EZ components since they are two-dimensional now. Can we just add k to all these components? Or do we need some k plus ones or k minus ones? Well, looking at the two-dimensional diagram again, to update the HY components, we need an EZ component to the right and also to the left. These EZ components share the same k index as the HY component. As a result, both of the EZ field components in the HY update equation will have the same k index. So if I put comma k here and here comma k and here comma k and right there comma k. Now for DA and DB, I suggest you start by just making these equal to numbers that correspond to free space. So don't worry about making those matrices yet. We can do the same here for the EZ update because they're at the same EZ and HY updates are calling on each other, the field components. So they're both going to have the same K indices. And then here again for CA and CB, just make them equal to a number, equal to free space. So at this point, are we done changing the HY update? Well, remember the HY update equation we developed for the two-dimensional grid has both EZ components as well as EX components. We already have the EZ components in the HY update equation, but we still need to add the EX components. To do this, use this diagram. And for example, to update the HYs, we need an EX that is one half of a grid cell above and one half of a grid cell below that HY component. Does it have the, do these components, these EXs, do they have the same KX value or one KX index that's higher or lower? Go ahead and finalize your update for the HY components of the grid. Then we'll compare your update with mine.